Good afternoon. Can I have everyone's attention for just a minute? Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chuck Dean. I'm the Chief of Marion Fire Department. And as I'm sure everyone knows, we're here to open the box. Everybody keeps asking, what's in the box? Anybody know what movie that's from? Nobody? Come on. Oh, that's good, Dad. Close enough. So, this box came out of the cornerstone at Station 2, uh, which the former Station 2 is at the corner of uh, Center Street and David Street. It was built in 1905. Uh, the land was leased to the city of Marion by the Marion Power Shovel, and it was a, that station was intended primarily to protect uh, that business. The citizens sold bonds, that's how they raised the money to build the station, and uh, it was occupied until 1975, my bad. Um, so here lately we've had a small group of our firefighters who made an effort to start preserving the um, history of the Marion Fire Department. Uh, as you know, we're getting ready to start construction on a new station one, and that kind of prompted them to want to hang on to as much history as we can. Uh, so they went down last week and started the process for removing the cornerstone, and that's when they found the box. So two of the people that were involved in that process, Captain Ryan Redmond, Firefighter Andrew and Niles. Since they found the box, I thought it was only appropriate to give them the honors of, of opening it. So I'm going to step aside and let them do their thing. Gentlemen, I don't know that there's a process for this, so we're going to wing it. <laughs> Try not to tear this up as much as we can. So it's a copper box, and it's been soldered shut. So we've got a couple ideas in our head. We'll Got badges. Wow. Uh, nice. That's a whole bunch. There's a bunch of stuff. That thing is chock full. So, so we'll kind of take one thing at a time, and I'll try to summarize it. When we're done, just kind of lay everything out on the table so folks can come up and get a look at it if you would. So it's a Marion Fire Department badge, and they're all numbered. This one's 46. Yeah. Wow. I'll just hand them to you if you want, and then yeah. let's get it. I'll just get the video. We'll make sure it's actually still recording. Yeah. Very little. Poor timing. 
Well, I got a piece of paper right there. I want to oh, cut the paper. Yeah. It's yeah, pretty heavy duty copper. I figured it bent. It does. It just doesn't. It's connected on the one corner. Dude, they did a good job of sealing this thing up. This thing is full. And it looks pretty readable. I'm going to have to see about the store this so I'm doing steaming on it or something to get it to okay. open up. Yeah, I just go one at a time, man. There we go. I doubt it. I'm going to have to do another relief cut on the Back just try corner. to go, yeah, just try to go down the seam. Stay right on the seam. They did not mess around when they packed this in here. Yeah, you're good. I don't think it's scratching it or anything. It says Glens Falls Insurance Company from New York. It's tied shut. One of our historical people. <laughs> We're just dumb firemen, trust me. We need help. <laughs> They may have just wrapped it in that to preserve it. So this is an agenda for the 1905 second annual fireman's ball. And it has a picture of the horse and the horse-drawn fire engine. It's got all the songs that they played, the, the waltz, the two-step, <laughs> different bands that have played. I, don't, I think this was just wrapped around it to save it. Okay. It's an advertising group for somebody here okay. in Marion, so an insurance agent. But so I'll set that there. Just, we'll just put that kind of in the back. Yeah. yeah that was just a cover of it. Oh, okay. Steve Shuttle, Marion Steam Shuttle Company. Yeah. What else you got in there, Niles? Is it? So it says Marion Steam, the Marion Steam Shuttle Company. And I am so afraid to open this because they're sticking together. Yeah. It's going though. 
Yeah, it's pictures of steam shovels. July 19th of 1905. That's really... It's a newspaper from July of 1905. That's where you come in. Papers from 1905. Uh, this is a newspaper from July 19, I'll just 1905. Go through them. It's a newspaper from July of 1905. Another newspaper. It smells musty. Yeah. Oh, there's the lease for the Marion Steam Shovel Company for the building. So this is a copy of the lease. The Marion Power Steep, uh, Shovel Company owned the lot. They leased it to the city with a 100 year lease that it would have went till, what, 2005, but we moved out of there in 1975. But this is a copy of the lease. This is a copy, a couple copies of the city officials, uh, the roster. We got a couple of those. This is December. a copy of the contract for the construction of the station. An envelope to the Marion Fire Department, July 20th, 1905. That's all you, Chief. Should we open it? Yeah. <laughs> We've come this far. I think the silverfish got in there and chewed on a little bit. Silverfish? Yeah, those little monsters that like to eat. Air system. Huh. Merit system rules of the Department of Public Safety. This is an invitation from the Delphos Fire Department, which is up north. The Delphos Fire Department and citizens extend a cordial invitation That's to you to attend the, the annual tournament of the Northwestern Ohio Volunteer Firemen's Association at Delphos, dated Tuesday, June 18, 1878. Can I read that? If I can. This is a good luck coin that has a Indian, a 1904 Indian head penny in the middle of it. Louisiana Purchase Exposition. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to read this. It's in some fancy person. This cornerstone was laid July, 9th, July 20th, 1905. The Marion Fire Department. <laughs> I can't even read it. Something Board of Public Safety. Um, there's a name Fred Peters, William Feast, Johnny something yeah. was the mayor. No money. Fire Department not Chief UJ McFarland. Nope, just this guy right he here. He was the first was in fire chief is what it says. And then it has the roster, so all of the firefighters. Uh, Uline was a pikeman. James Butler was a driver. Uh, 
Thurston was a driver. Kelly was a pikeman. Fetter was a pikeman. Stafford and John Elbert were extra men. And it has the, those were all people from station two. And then there's a list of everybody from station one as well. So this is our, we always had a station one. Station two opened in 1905. It was our first extension. But the Huber Manufacturing Company that was here in town, what did they make? Tractors or equipment? Yeah. Farm equipment. They had their own fire department that was not necessarily a branch of the city, but we worked with them. And it has everybody from the Huber shop. So it's all the firefighters from there as well. So this is basically a letter from Chief McFarland of the roster of the fire department and then everybody from the city administration. And then the other two documents are two more rosters. We'll lay, we'll lay all this out on the table and you guys can feel free to come up and take a look at it. That's it. Well, that's pretty exciting. Thank, thank you everyone for coming up. That was great. Uh, Please feel free to